Okay, let's take a look at how I built the dome windows. Uh, we have a standard panel, like so, um, and I cut a hole in it and we put a, a liner. Then we uh, put a perspex dome over and bolted it down, obviously with a bit of sealant in between. If we take a look at the, a, a cross-sectional view, you'll get a bit better idea of the detail. Right, this is the dome window. We'll just uh, get rid of the window for a second and get rid of the bolts. Uh, this is the framework, the, sorry, the sheet paneling of the dome. This is a uh, tube. It's a bit like um, those solar tubes. It's a shiny piece of aluminium. The idea is that the light bounces off this and into the room. I've got a um, internal window so there's a, another perspex flat round disc on the inside which opens um, this obviously acts like the double glaze and so you've got a, a skin on the outside and a skin on the inside so that gives you a bit better thermal efficiency and that opens like so uh, just for cleaning and things like that Right, this is the skylight. Uh, it's probably a bit dull here, but I'll show you how what happens here. Right, this is the inner skin, so we can open this. And that's the outside skin up there. Uh, so there's a, it's two single skins with about, uh, you know, something like um, 400 millimetres apart. Um, yeah. This is the aluminium, and that's the lip. Now you can see, I'll, just, I'll zoom in so you can see better. You can see that this is this is wet. There's a lot of condensation on there. And what happens is the condensation forms on the outside here, it runs down the side, and there's three holes. Those three holes down here, and it drains away down the roof. Let me show you how that works in SketchUp. Uh, we've got a drawn here, and this shows a section through the windows so we have the bubble at the top the uh, aluminium sides and the internal window uh, what happens um, when the condensation forms on the bubble uh, it doesn't form on the inside window because that's too warm because that's kept warm from the building so it only forms on the outside and there are um, some holes down at the bottom edge where the condensation runs out down the roof. This effectively acts uh, exactly the same as a dehumidifier. It's taken moisture out of the building and uh, via this condensation on the window and putting it down the roof. So it's removing moisture from the building and putting it up back outside. Three holes and down this side that drain the water out can let flies in. So part of this being able to open is so you can clean it. There's not a lot of flies gets in but uh, I give it a clean once, probably once a year, springtime, think about now. Now if we left the window uncovered like this it would chuck tons of water because the, all the moisture in the air would hit that, condensate, run down, out the holes and it would, it would uh, It'd be like, like a dehumidifier on overdrive. So what I do is, this is left shut up and this basically slows the process down. Obviously it keeps a bit more heat in here and it doesn't let quite as much moist air hit the cold outside. That's better. Right, I have this um, very basic humidity gauge. Uh, we've got 9.9 .9 degrees outside, uh, 24 degrees in here and the double dashes or that it, it, the humidity is lower than uh, what it can detect. So it's pretty dry in here really. I often leave the dome without the, the, any heating on for a day or two because it's quite thermally efficient. Uh, and the, this is what the relative humidity is when there's no fire on. We've got 0 0.6 outside, 9 degrees in the dome, 9.7. 
and 26 relative humidity. Uh, I think the only real disadvantage is that because you've got this passive dehumidifier thing running it does cost some energy and you can see from this picture here that um, there's some snow melt around the windows that's a case of thermal bridging from the um, aluminium tube the shiny aluminium tube I will do a video on that at some point um, and also when the uh, water vapor condensates on the outside bubble uh, on the inside skin of the outside bubble there is some heat loss and that what's, that's what's causing this uh, bit of snow melt.